So, okay, so what do you choose for your shot? I mean, how do you, it all looks the same. Well, I know, I, you know, I know a few things going into this. One is that I'm going to want to do, um, this, this scene is, is a very elongated scene, so it's going to invite a very wide framing. It's going to uh, invite a framing, not squarish like that, but very wide. So, and I can see that there are a number of uh, cropping possibilities. And I'm going to leave it at that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to shoot a, lot, a whole bunch of stuff on either side of where I think the picture I want is going to be. And I'll make decisions about framing and cropping later on uh, at the computer. Okay, so I've got a series of pictures across this scene. They're all vertical. They're, they're like higher than they are wide. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, whatever I've got, all with some overlap. So that's my basic shot. I've got an exposure that will hold that and will hold the shadows uh, on the trees and will make the water look good. So now I'm going to be shooting uh, three pictures at each position. So instead of uh, probably of, of the possibly seven pictures I was using before, I'm now going to generate uh, 21 pictures, even though I'll still only have seven, uh, seven panels photographed. What, do you, what does your eye see when you're looking through that lens? My, my concentration at this point of the process is simply not to make any mistakes. Get all the, see, I see I'm doing these three, I'm doing three technical shots now. It's at each position, I'm not doing one shot, I'm doing three. So I'm trying not to lose track of my position so that I don't shoot two at one position and four at the next or something like that. So, so as far as what I see, I, right now when I'm taking the shot, I just try to see not making any mistakes uh, so, I, so I don't have to come back or, or uh, kick myself.